Ala Maxo. Ala Maxo. I mean, the link for fun, that's in there. Oh, okay. That's me, so before, different thing. <laughs> I'll send it to you again because now I'm using a. I just sent it again. <coughs> you can put it on the page. I send it to all the max and I send it to you.
Ну, говорю, я сказал, что он, и у меня иммунология скачила. Да я говорю, а я тут пошел на эту самую. See? 
what all that is. What happened?
Shall we please have a seat? Once again, may the grace, peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of us. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered in the presence of God in this congregation to witness the union of this man, Osei Kupo, and Gloria Kupo. <coughs> Standing here before you in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate and of divine origin and institution. It is sanctioned or approved of in the holy scriptures and dignified and forever hallowed. For our Lord Jesus Christ was present at the marriage of Cana in Galilee, where he performed his first miracle. So this speaks of the mystical union of Christ and the church. The Holy Scripture says, marriage should be honored by all. So we must conclude that it must not be regarded in a light manner, but undertaken and entered into in all solemnity. With wisdom, all taught, reverently in the fear of God, with the understanding that it was first ordained for the mutual health, fellowship, and comfort that the one ought to have for the other in prosperity and adversity for the honorable procreation of children and for their training in love and obedience to the Lord. In this holy bond, this too, Emmanuel Hosea Kupo and Gloria Kuko are now willing to enter. And therefore, if anyone knows of any just cause, why this too, Hosea Kupo and Gloria Kuko, may not be joined in marriage, let it now speak or forever hold your peace. So I'll give you five seconds because you have all been witnesses to the traditional marriage. <laughs> you can put your hands together if you want to. I'm not going to ask who is giving this woman hand in marriage because we've all been witnesses to it and we've we all been here for the engagement. Like I said, this is a little different from the norm. Now to a second for the Gloria, I require a charge you both. As you would answer at the day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts are made known. That if either of you know of any unlawful, any lawful impediment, why you may not be joining marriage, you may confess it now. All right, and this is to Jose. And you want to say this after me, as it were your own words. I do solemnly. And faithfully, and faithfully declare that I, I, I do not know, do not know of, any, any, of any lawful, lawful impediment. impediment. Why I, 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 I may not be joined, may not be joined in, holy in holy matrimony, matrimony to, to God. <laughs> And this is to learn. And you want to say it as it were your own words. I do solemnly and faithfully declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment why I may not be joined in holy matrimony. Good. Jose, go 
What do you have this woman, Gloria Foku, standing here to be your wedding wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the estate of matrimony. Would you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep only glory as long as you both shall live. If it is so, say, I will. I will. And this is to glory. Gloria Fuku, would you have this man, Jose Fuku, standing here now to be your wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Would you love him, honor and obey him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all other men, keep only a second form as long as you both shall live. If it is so, say I will. Now you can hold each other in peace. And this is to say, is your vow to your wife to be? You want to look straight into her eyes and mean the words that you're saying, as it were your own words. And you will forever stand by these words. No matter what happens. I call upon I call upon these persons, these persons here present, here present to, witness to witness that I, that I take you, take you <coughs> to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God, according to God, holy, holy, ordinance. And now, therefore, and now, therefore, I will give you this token. I will give you this token of my love. Of my love.
practically. So when this and I do take me to be my lawful wedding husband. To help and to hold from this day forward. For better for worse. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And now therefore, I give you this token of my love. If you want to look straight into his face and his eyes, I give you this ring. We could have here. Made of honor. I give you this ring as a token and memorial that I've taken you to be my lawful wedded husband. In the name of the Father. The Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 For who have consented together in holy wedlock, and have confessed the same before God in this gathering, and have given and pledged their love to one another, and have declared sin by the giving and receiving of grace, and by joining of hands, or by stretching of hands, I remember someone on the by the state, by the powers vested in me by the state of the high and the church of Pentecost as a marriage officer, now pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Therefore, what God has put together, let no one separate. In Jesus' name. Amen. And now, in turn, in turn. Scripture says in Ephesians chapter 5, 22 to 28, very important. The wives submit to your husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. And I mean everything. Husbands, I'll say, love your wife Gloria. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. To make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless. In the same way, I say, you ought to love Gloria, your own wife, as your own body. He who loves his wife, loves himself. Amen. Amen. At this point, I shall invite Apostle to come and bless the couple. Shall you raise that? Pastor Joshua, you can. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons of refreshment. Sent from the Savior above. Oh, shall I rest of Gloria, Bomacas and Nassi, I 
Shall we please have our seats? All right, Mr. M Mr. DJ, Mr. DJ, gospel songs only. Thank you. I present to everyone, Mr. Jose and Mrs. Gloria Kufo. Before they go to take their seat, we want to sign the certificate of my father right there. The best year, it was your four, we know our time, glory and chi, it was your four, we know our time. Wait, 
Amen. Something 
So long as you are in this building, as I said, we share with those masks. Yes, sir, we need to do it. Yes, sir. You are afraid of your original deacon. How are you going to do it? My original deacon. Elder, Prince Hosea, for the closing prayer. We are apostles. Apostles, we are now. We are now of value of known. We give them the honor to walk out as we follow them. Ya 
done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Amen. So we will give them the honor to walk out the ministers of follow and then and the families can also join. So we can take the music, uh, music Mr. DJ. Mr. and Mrs. Kufo. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Banana, banana. 